massive big eyes up here. Oh, big eyes. Oh. Yeah, but he's also, you're right, oh, he's, got, so. he's got dots all over him. Mm. Mm -hmm. But then he's also got a band on his back. On his what? His wing? No, he hasn't. It's not? No. Oh. No, it, it would be here if it was. And oh, okay. I don't know whether has that been not well, I think scratched it may in have. or. Oh, okay. yeah. No, it's nearly, nearly, if the power was in his penis, it would be across. Okay. Yeah, no, there's, there's no power, but he does have lines no. somewhere. You've got to find them. He does have power in the arms. Uh, nope. Got the rays. You can see those. Oh. Here is one, I think. Is it? This one? Yeah, they're in his feet. Yeah, mm. indeed. Why do we think they're in his it's feet? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's hard to see. It's Walking like his, in his spirit. He's got shoes on. Oh, sure. This guy's here, he's got, he's clever. Mm. Now we know we talk about our clever men and clever women. Well, this is a clever man. So we call him a weary man. He's basically gone through all his lessons and learnt everything and spent all that time. And he's drawn big. So remember I said little and humble? Mm -hmm. Well, still, that's he's drawn big because he's fat with knowledge. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. He's done everything right. On the path of learning. Mm. Wow. So the shoes, in, uh, he's got clever man slippers on, or clever man feet, so he can travel. Mm. He can go wherever. And he sees with those big eyes, mm. but he also sees with his body, he doesn't need those eyes, he can see it all. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And that's the, that's the path, that's where you want to go to. That's what you want to be. What do we call them things on the side, Bill? Oh, magic bag, then. Yeah. So that rep represents his, you know, his, his <clears throat> spiritual powers, you know, his tricks of his trade, you know. So he can he can travel from one place to the next, you know. Um, he can be here now and then half an hour later he can be 500 kilometres away, you know, from, from travel. Yeah. So those, those, those there... We used to call them wings because he can fly, but it was, it's more about the travel. Mm. We usually talk about the wings with the kids and stuff, because they don't comprehend the magic bag yeah. with all the tools. And, yeah. Now, the, the, the other thing about being told the stories of, of these engravings is that um, sometimes you can see an engraving many, many, many times, and then one day you just go, hey, I've never noticed that before. Mm. Mm. So I was here... Um, oh, six months or so ago with a, with a young Aboriginal man and some other fellas. I was telling them about this and he said, oh, Uncle Phil, can, can, I, can I say something? Can I say something? And he said, Mick Laurie, before he'd gone, gone through. And I said, yeah, Mick, what? He said, this is my grandfather. And he, he said, my, my grandfather was a, a, a clever man, like a clever man, sort of like a, a, a sorcerer, you know, or a yogi, or, you know. Um, and he said, yeah, he said, this is my grandfather. I recognised him as soon as I saw him. He said his name was Left Hand Ferguson. Uh -huh. um, he was a real man. And, yeah. and, a real, and, and um, he said they called him Left Hand Ferguson because he always had his left hand uh, hid behind his back. Oh. And the people would say he'd hide his hand because he had an eagle's claw instead of a hand. And I'd seen this a thousand times and never noticed that he doesn't have a left hand. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Me too now. <laughs> and I asked Uncle Paul about it and he said, yeah, clever fellas will often just put their, a, a hand behind the, their back just to, just to show that they're not going to do you any harm. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. yeah. So that's where he's not going to do any harm. Mm -hmm. That's where you want to be. Don't want to be. That's where you want to be. So you're striving, striving to be that. 